Hey, this is Daniela, and I'm back for another video. Uh, it seems like Thursdays are going to be the day that I do that. Uh, so I'm just going to update you a little bit on what I've done since last week. Um, my last video was about the book I read, Small Gods. I took that back to the library earlier this week, uh, and I accidentally checked out two more books. So, I mean, I figured I would get at least one book, and then two happened. Um, so I checked out, one was The Sign of Four by um, Arthur Conan Doyle. It's one of his Sherlock Holmes novels. Um, and I read this one in about a day, so I'll talk about this one a little bit first. Um, I really love the Sherlock Holmes short stories, and I've actually, um, in like high school or something, about like this little book of uh, The Adventures of Sherlock Holmes, and I actually have like a bigger book uh, upstairs with um, a few of the different collections, The Adventures of Sherlock Holmes, The Memoirs of Sherlock Holmes, another set of short stories, and then it has The Hounds of the Baskervilles, which is another one of the novels. It's the first novel that I read. Um, and one of my favorite things about his short stories and even some of the novels is just, I love the characters. I love Holmes and Watson. I love how it's all written from Watson's perspective. So even though Holmes is probably kind of irritating sometimes and has his negative qualities, um, you really just see most of like the positive qualities. And Watson is usually like an amaze, like just amazement anytime that uh, Holmes figures out like, points out some random little clues and then at the end it's like, oh yeah, this random detail I told you about before, like here's how it's significant. Um, and Watson's always just like in complete amazement of everything he does. Um, and then the short stories are, usually don't take very long anyway. Um, and I've read one other novel as well, A Study in Scarlet, which is the first Sherlock Holmes story where he and Watson actually meet. Um, so this one um, is actually where Watson meets his wife, Mary. Um, and basically she like comes with some concern. Her father had mysteriously disappeared some years before. And then like a few years after that, she, every year she starts getting like a pearl and she doesn't know where it comes from. And then it ends up having to do with some treasure that her father and somebody else kind of brought back to England and some connections with that. So in general, I really like the story. Um, there were some parts where, so I guess Mary's father had served in the British army in India so there's some, you know, references to characters from India. And then somebody else had been in prison in an island near Indonesia, I think. And so he met somebody who was from a tribe on that island. And so just some of the descriptions about that native person from that island and some of the Indian people. It was like a little bit like, ooh, yep, yep, this is definitely written by somebody in the late 19th century from England. But, you know, whatever. Um, so in general, the story was okay, but some of the things it was like, oh, it would have been more interesting with the mystery if it hadn't involved, like, some of the things it did, but that's fine. I also checked out, um, The Return of the King, because I've never actually read this all the way through. I've seen all of the Lord of the Rings movies, I've read The Hobbit, and I've read Fellowship of the Ring and The Two Towers, and I, like, I really love The Lord of the Rings, um, although this is probably the only time that I've really intentionally watched the movie first and then read the books. Um, the movies came out when I was in middle school and I remember for some reason I wasn't super interested in seeing them and then I think maybe my dad had a copy of Fellowship of the Ring so we watched it and I really liked it. Um, and I was aware that The Hobbit was the first one so I decided to read that one first. Um, my challenge with Tolkien is most of his books I have a hard time just like reading and continuing through with them just because of how they're written. Um, the Hobbit I absolutely love, and the writing's a bit more, I don't know how to describe, it's like a little more friendly for me, I don't know. Not as not as wordy, not as flowy and detailed and whatnot, so The Hobbit I love to read, I can read it any time. Um, and then after I saw Fellowship of the Ring, I read the book, The Fellowship of the Ring. Um, and in general, that's a, that book's a little bit easier for me to read as well, and I love some of the scenes in it that aren't included in the movie, like... Um, Tom Bombadil or the Barrow Downs. Oh, I love those scenes. And then after I saw Two Towers, I went and I read the book, The Two Towers. Um, but then after Return of the King came out, I checked out the book. I read the first chapter and it must have been the summer. Of, I don't know. I, I set the book down and I just didn't have this desire to pick it back up again. So I ended up returning and I just haven't ever gone around to reading it again. Um, but like I said, like some of his chapters, like he's got like really beautiful imagery or I love the character. Like I really love the characters. I love the whole Middle Earth. I love, like I just want to know what's going on. But some of like the, the in-between or some of the details or descriptions or places that they're going, they're just like, I just get a little bit lost in what's going on. And then I just like need a break or it's hard for me to pick back up again. Um, 
but I know there's like certain scenes in this book that just aren't in the movie at all, like a chapter in the, sh in the Shire, like where the Shire is under attack. Um, or even just like certain scenes that are in the movie that are just like more detailed in the book because obviously it's a book. Um, like when um, Aragorn goes to the path of the dead to get the dead to come help him. In the movie, it's just him, Gimli, and Legolas, and he goes and he goes to the cave and he's like, all right, guys, come fulfill your oath. And they do. Um, but in the book it's towards the beginning and then it's those three plus like some of the um rangers that everyone's a ranger but anyway this video is long enough now so that's it um i will be back and i hope you have a good day bye